and in, and in the streets of Jerusalem. Yeah. 18. And the children gathered wood and the father and thy father kindled the fire. Right, come on. And the women need their dough. Uh -huh. And it came to pass, uh -huh. as he spake these things, a certain woman came, a, a certain woman, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, uh -huh. Blessed is the womb that birthed thee. And the woman was like, look, blessed is your mama that birthed you, right? Come on. And the paps which thou hast sucked. And the breast which you have sucked. What Christ say though? But he said. But he said what? Yeah. Yeah. Brother, blessed are they that hear the words of Yah, of God, and keep you it. it. Blessed if you hear the words of God and you keep it. Not, oh, blessed just because that's my mama. You see what I'm saying? But that's the worship they pass off today. Like, we supposed to be praying to marriage or something. That's what the Bible says. She better have done what she supposed to have done. And she got a judge. See that? Got Mark three. Mark three. And she turned back, really. Uh -huh. They said, don't turn back. Well, she turned back and turned into a pillar of salt. No doubt, man. But we can't be, you know what I'm saying, so so caught up in our emotion to where we going left because our woman go left. It puts an effeminate spirit on us to where we become mama boys right. instead of men of God, warriors. You feel me? Listen to this, Mark 3. Mark 3, verse 31 on that. Mark, Mark 3, verse 31. What did it say, Israel? That... There came then his brother and his mother, uh -huh. and stood without, sent into unto him, call, calling him, and the multitude brother. sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, my my mother, thy, and thy, thy mother, uh -huh. and thy brother, without without seat for thee. So your mother and your brother are looking for you. Right. Christ is breaking off the word to the disciples and people that's listening. Right. His family, his, his household family come looking for him. Right. Hey boy, your mom and your brother looking for you. Right. You know how it goes. Right. But you said, what we do, we usually drop everything and we're trying to find out what they doing. What did Christ do? Come on, brother. Verse 33. Yeah. And he answered them, uh -huh. say, who is my mother? Who is my mother? Or my, or my brother. Or my brother. Right. 34. Uh -huh. And he looked around about on Good him man. which sat about him uh -huh. and uh -huh. said, right. Behold, uh -huh. my mother uh -huh. and my brother. Right. For who for whosoever shall do the will of God. Well, shall do the will of God. Come on. The same is my brother. Right. And my sister. Right. And my mother. So Christ said, whoever's doing the will of my father in heaven, that's my family. That's my family right there. So he put a distinction. Between, between him and uh, Big Mom. Right. Right. Feel me? If Big Mom was not doing the will of the father, then and guess what? She ain't got nothing to come. I ain't fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable, though. It's what it is. Yeah, you got to keep it 
gutter and hold like the concrete is under our feet. You feel me? So it is what it is, man. But he said flat out that look, whoever doing the will of my father, which is in heaven, that's my family. Right? So we gotta find out what the will of God is, which is in heaven, right? Rather Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. And the Bible tells you what the will of God is, what you was made to do. We read it earlier when your body's not your own. Feel me? You wasn't just made to do like some people say, well, whatever dog get money. I'll put her to get money, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shorty can't eat no books, B. That's, that's, that's the biggest lie in the world. Because you came out your mother's womb a creation of God. You didn't come out like whatever you do for a job and feed your family. Like me, I inspect trucks. You feel me? I think it's like this. I work for a job. I'm working for a man. I'm yeah. working for a job. Yeah. God gave me a job. Right. Man right. gave me a job. Right. Man was just the essence of my being. He just was put there so I could make my little ears into a little corner with a little realm so I could feed my, my, my mouth and my family. That's it. That's it. But your job is to be a warrior of God. It has to handle God's business out That's good, bro. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. You got that, though? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 12, 12, verse 13 and 14. Grab my Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Uh huh. Let us hear the conf let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This sums it all up. This is the conclusion of everything. Come on, fear God uh -huh. and keep His commandments. Fear the Most High God and keep His commandments. Yeah, and then it say keep His commandments. God got rules. People, people don't trip off that. You know. of the whole matter. Yes, sir. For God and keep his commandments. Yeah. For this is the whole duty of man. That's not the part duty of man. The whole duty of man. I do it if I want to. Right. The whole duty of man. That's what you was created for. Right. Sir, the most act. Come on, brother. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Right. Whether with every secret thing. Right. Whether it be good uh -huh. or whether it be evil. Those that bring everything in the judgment. Good or bad, every secret thing, whether it be good or evil, is coming in the judgment. So we ought to do what? For the most high, keep his command. And, and, and that's Solomon. And we all know the history. Solomon went on. Exactly. Or serving other gods. Yeah, yeah, he got the tributes. He had so many women that he got to bow on his knee to they God. You see that? So, yeah, so at the end of it, at the end, if you read all Ecclesiastes, 
at the end, Solomon is saying, look, let us have the conclusion of the whole matter. Right. Look, I done did it all. I done did vanity. I done did righteousness. Right. Right. Prefer God to keep his commandment. Right. And guess what? I'm even going to be brought to judgment. Right. 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 Yeah, and the wisest. You know what I'm saying? Besides the Lord and Savior Christ. You feel me? Yes, all these men were black. Mm -hmm. The people, the children color. of Israel were black. No, Paul was black too. He was mistaken for an Egyptian. Yeah. Acts 21 38. Let's write it real quick. See, if you read, he called himself a Roman. He had Roman citizenship. Yeah. Like, check this out. You got American citizenship. Yeah. Yeah. We're not Americans. No, we're not Americans. We just sent out this book right here. Paul was a black man. Right, Acts 21, for, and we all know the Egyptians are black, yeah, right? Paul tell you, nah, man, I'm a Jew, I'm a Tarsus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. You white folks walk around them. Yeah, they, they, they are the, 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 the degenerate plant, the Bible speak of. You know, son up there in the mouth. Even, even the brother, Shalom, brother, me. Even the brother who they said translated the Bible. King James, he was black. Look at this. They don't even tell you this. No, King James is black. They say they can't say it's a bad. Yeah, he tried to say he was gay, but he was Check this out right here. This is fresh out of Cambridge University. There you go, right there. That's <laughs> straight brush. <bro. laughs> straight brush. They wonder why they were trying to kill him because he was bringing out his word, man.